grab the controller, sit in your sofa, tell your wife it's game time, damn it. It's the Crying Gamer Show. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Crying Gamer, baby, in the building, bringing you a late review of Overwatch. And I'd like to state, just for the record, that this is just an opinion. You have your opinion of games, so just get a game if you want it, just buy it. But I hope this helps in swaying your decision if you're on the fence for this game. Um, I like to do this late review series because I like to enjoy the game, sit on the game, play it a while, really feel the game and let them patch up the game and make changes, you know, instead of just rushing a review out to you guys. So I hope you appreciate that. Let's get right into it. Overwatch, baby! Overwatch is a squad-based shooter made up of teams of six. You select from an expansive roster consisting of 21 unique characters, right? This title was developed by Blizzard, which is known for games like Diablo, uh, StarCraft, WarCraft, Team Fortress, which Overwatch draws heavily from. So let's get right on into it. We're going to start with graphics. All the characters are beautiful to look at and they are a joy to behold in action. The shading and attention to detail is excellent. Also, the stages are well done and they are a compliment to the well-designed roster. So, what do I, Crying Gamer, give Overwatch for graphics? I give it a 10 based on the way the style that they wanted to uh, go with, which is cartoony. I think they knocked it out the park. It is a 10. Moving on, gameplay the crooks of any game, the most important part. How does Overwatch fare? Let's get it. If you are familiar with Team Fortress, then you can jump into this game without a hitch and feel right at home. This is a squad-based FPS shooter that relies heavily on teamwork. You can COD it Rambo style if you want, but you're gonna take a lot of L's, baby, meaning a lot of losses. This game is meant to be played as a team, so Rambos get shot in the head and bleed. The game runs at a steady 60 frames at 1080p on the PS4 without any hitches and runs and performs excellent on the PC. And if you have the powerhouse to do it, you can run it at 4K with a steady 60 frames. That's the only way to play, baby. If you in trouble and you need to put somebody down, don't worry about the bullet damage. People, the uh, opponents, the characters are not bullet sponges. They will drop. If you have good aim, I give this a 10 for gameplay. Moving on, this game is doing pretty good right now. Now it's sound, sound, which makes you really, which brings you into the game. The sound needs to be good. Does it deliver? Everything pops and crackles. Bullets fly by your head. The game makes good use of 5.1, 7.1, and Atmos. If you have the headphones, it does Atmos surround in your headphones. This game is awesome. You hear chatter, you hear um, when somebody's behind you, they'll tell the character will say somebody's behind you. It's awesome. The sound, they knocked it out the park. Now, something that really brings everything together is the story. Hmm. Now this is interesting. The game has an elaborate backstory told by many trailers and movies, which is part of the advertising campaign for the game, but it's not in the game. Um, there isn't a story mode. There isn't a single player campaign mode, which is a shame. I believe if Blizzard had a single player campaign, they would have knocked it clean out of the park because the story, honestly, just by watching the little tidbits that they give you, is very interesting, it's intricate, and all the 21 characters, they have relations and they intertwine with each other. So it would give an understanding on why you are fighting. We should not have to watch these to understand that. This game should have had a single player. But with that said, they said that it was not gonna have that when they were developing the game. So we really can't be mad, but I'm gonna be mad and the crying gamer is gonna cry about that because for a price of $60 for the console version of the game, 
and you're not getting a single player, I think it should at least been $40 for the console. You can get it for $40 on the PC. Now, the online experience was excellent. No hiccups, got into matches, no problem. The, the multiplayer, they knocked it out. Overall, this is a solid online only title, which is easy to pick up and play for casuals. And it has the depth for those that want to master the characters and bring the gameplay to a competitive level. This is a very addictive shooter, addicting, like I mean, all in your veins. It was well made. I recommend this title, Overwatch. I give it an overall score of nine, 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 nine. And it would have been a 10 if it had a single player campaign, but it doesn't. So this is a nine all the way around. You must buy this game if you are a fan of the FPS genre. So I hope this helped you. Crying Gamer is out. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. Have a good day and continue the game.